Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about lists versus tuples. This is a topic that I tell you from great experience really confuses many, many people who are new to Python. And let's be honest, some people who are not so new to Python. So let's talk about what the differences are between lists and tuples, and then what the real differences are between lists and tuples, and then why Python has them at all. So let's like talk some basics here. So lists are mutable ordered collections. What does that mean? It means that I can put a bunch of things in a list. So I can say my list equals 10, so what is it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ta-da, and now what's the type of my list? Of course, it's a list. And I can say my list of zero and my list of one and my list of minus one, all that other good stuff that we know we can do with a list. So this shows that it's a collection, it contains a bunch of different things. And what can a list contain? Anything, absolutely anything at all. I can say my list equals A, B, C, D, all right, E, F, G, H. Let's even add one more here. You know, I, J, K, L. There we go. And the type of my list is still a list. There's no such thing in Python as a list of integers, a list of string. A list is just a list. It can contain however many things I want and whatever I want. So that shows that it's a collection. And the fact that the things stick around in the same order as I added them means that it's ordered. So basically, I know that my list zero is not going to bounce around even when I add new things to the list, assuming I add it to the end. So if I say my list append of, let's say, L M N O P, so my list is still going to be now A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and then M N O P at the end there, and my list of zero has not changed. This is as opposed to some other types in Python, for example, a set where you don't necessarily know what order things are going to be in, and older dictionaries. Like as of 3.6, we don't need to worry about them in dictionaries. They are ordered uh, in insertion order. Okay, so they are ordered, and they are collections. But the other thing is that lists are mutable. You just saw now that I was able to add something to a list. I was able to change its size. I can say my list zero equals hello, and now I have changed the list. Now, mutable data is something that we think about as kind of normal in many other languages. But in Python, we make a big distinction between mutable data types and immutable data types. If I can change the data, then every variable that's referring to that data sees that change as well. Watch this, if I say x equals my list and y equals my list, now I have my list and x and y. These are three separate variables that are referring to exactly the same list. Three names, one list. But if I say my list append of, uh, let's say, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, now my list has changed, but X has changed and Y has changed. That's both the you know, danger and the opportunity, shall we say, with mutable data, that I can change it and it's reflected in all these places at once. However, you might not necessarily want that. So that's lists, and that's how people think about lists very often when they start off in Python. What about tuples? Tuples are immutable ordered collections. And so I can say t equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And here I have type t is a tuple. And here, by the way, you can say tuple if you prefer. I'm a big tuple fan, but you, know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna, you know, the Python police are not gonna arrest you for that. So how are tuples different from lists? So technically speaking, the big difference is that they are immutable. They cannot be changed. If I say t of zero, that's great. But if I say t of zero equals exclamation point, can't do that. You simply cannot change a tuple once it has been defined. So many, many people say, oh, I get it. The big difference between lists and tuples is that lists are mutable and tuples are immutable. And that is the technical difference, but that's not the difference in how we use them. And the basic difference is uses for lists versus tuples. Let's, let's scroll this up a little bit here. So lists are used for collections of objects of, here's the big deal, the same type. So a list of strings, a list of integers, a list of lists. Tuples, by contrast, are used for collections of objects of different types or you know, potentially different types. So, huh? You can think of it this way. A tuple, basically, I'll add to this. Tuples are Python's version of a struct or a record from another language or in another language. So for example, if you have a bunch of names, use a list. Let's put this in Markdown, make it a little better. 
you know, if you have a bunch of numbers, use a list. If you have a bunch of IP addresses, use a list. If you have a bunch of person objects, use a list. But, but, and this is where the exception comes in, if you have a person represented as, let's do it this way, like first name and then last name and then shoe size, then you should use, you should use a tuple because we have different types there, right? If you read from a database, you'll get the records in a list of tuples because each record is one tuple and, and we have a bunch of records. Now there is another reason to use tuples and tuples are more efficient in their memory use than lists because they won't change. So why, why would that be the case? Well, think of it this way. We can add new elements to a list and Python keeps around some spare memory just in case we wanna do that. So we won't need to reallocate all the memory for a list at once. And so lists always have this like extra stuff hanging around, extra memory hanging around. Tuples don't need that. So tuples are actually more efficient. Um, also tuples, because they cannot be changed, have many, many, many fewer methods. So tuples really have only two methods, <laughs> two methods for a tuple. All right, anyway, uh, but, but I digress. Um, as opposed to lists, which have many, many different methods that you can use for inserting and deleting in a bunch of different ways. All of this though, all of this though, ignores the fact that according to Python tradition, according to Python conventions, you should not be thinking about mutability when you think about lists versus tuples. You should be thinking about, am I gonna have the same type or am I gonna have different types? Which raises the question, does Python really need tuples? Couldn't we get away with just having lists? I mean, other languages just have the equivalent of lists, right? The answer is yes. They could have done it when they designed Python, but I think it was partly aesthetic. There is something nice about having tuples that we know that they are immutable and that they can represent things like coordinates. Um, also, you can use tuples as dictionary keys, whereas you cannot do that with lists. But the biggest thing is that Python uses tuples behind the scenes for all sorts of stuff. The biggest thing is when you call a function, the arguments are passed to the function as a tuple. So we don't see that, we don't notice that, but Python is using, as I like to say, Python uses Python to implement Python. And this is one of those places. So could they have used lists? Yes, but it would have made the language less efficient. So the bottom line is that you should not be thinking about mutable, immutable. You should not be thinking about, well, can I protect my data? Rather, when you decide whether to use a list or tuple, think about what kinds of data are in there or do you expect to have in there and then choose appropriately. Okay, I hope that this was helpful. If you have other questions about Python usage at all, feel free to contact me on Twitter or via email. And don't forget to take a look at my book, Python Workout. I'll be back soon with more tips about Python.